You were watching Cory last night. You'll have seen Faye finally hand herself into the police, admitting that she was the real culprit behind Adam Barlow's attack after mistaking him for the evil Ray Crosby. The industry needs women like you. You're certainly charming me. I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't say I didn't like it. Faye, open the door. Faye! What's going on? You had issues with Adam, didn't you? And you tried to sew it out the wind that's way. You bashed his head in and left him for dead. You're wrong. Well, he's not my you are you? I thought that it was Ray, and I hit him. And... I hit him! What did you hit him with? I hit him with a hospitality award. Gary Windass, I'm arresting you on suspicion of theft. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. You gotta carry on like everything's normal. I'm here to have myself in for the attack on Adam Barlow. Da, da, da. Ellie Leach, who plays Faye, joins me now. It's lovely to see you, Ellie. How are you Hello. doing? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. But listen, can I take issue? How could you mistake handsome, beautiful Adam <laughs> for sleazy Ray? It must have been very dark. I know, it was very, very dark. <laughs> it must have been. Now, look, we have watched you, and I have watched you, and millions of others, growing up before our very eyes. You've been in Coronation Street now 10 years. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah 10 years. It feels like it's been so long, but it also has flown by. I'll bet it has. And I look so small. <laughs> I know, I know, I remember that. And, oh, look, look at you there. And what a time <laughs> she's had. I mean, talk about wild child. You know, there's pregnancy, she gave up the baby. There's been all of these things going on. As a young actress, a wonderful thing to do, but really challenging as well. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I'm so lucky to have had the storylines that I've had, but also growing up and being so young, it has been a challenge because most things that you do, like storyline-wise, you haven't actually experienced yourself. So it's been good, but it has been challenging at times. No, absolutely. The thing is, though, I guess every single day, gosh, I remember those scenes when you were, you were just a baby <laughs> and having a baby yourself. And... The thing about that is, though, you've got so many people in Coronation Street. It must be like a sort of acting masterclass with some of the people that have been there for so long. And I know how much yeah. you all help one another. Yeah, definitely. Like, I know a lot of people say it's, we're like a big family, but we genuinely are like a big family. Like, if you ever need any advice or anything, there's always so many people that you can go to for help. Exactly. And that, that makes all the difference in the world. Now, look, we saw she confessed last night. Hopefully he's going to get his comeuppance. That's what we would like to happen. Yeah, um, again, so. yeah, I know, but a difficult storyline for you to do because we're talking, you know, serious sexual assault here. And I know that you worked um, very much hand in hand with Women's Aid to make sure that you get it right. And that thing of her thinking that she's not going to be believed. And that's so cool. Yeah, definitely. I think this is probably the most challenging storyline that I've had. Just because oh, no, it's coming to terms with the fact that this does actually happen in real life and I've never obviously had it happen to me and I don't know anyone who it's happened to. But since doing this storyline, I've had lo like tons of messages saying, there, thank you for oh. portraying it the way you did. And it's just so nice to hear that you you're doing it justice. Yeah, of course. And and you're right, because this, again, it's that thing of you have to make sure that it's absolutely right, because this is other people's lives. You know, this happens yeah, in, in real, true life. That That's the thing. Now, poor wee Faye, we don't know what's going to happen to her. She might end up in the jail. Who knows? Know. Who knows? I hope I know. not. I really, really hope not. And certainly, you know, there's always... You know what it's like, Kelly. When anything that this happens, there's always rumours. You're not going anywhere, I hope. No, no, Good. not going anywhere for the time being. <laughs> Good, that's well, what... Well, hopefully forever. No, 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 that's, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> what I think's lovely, you said it's like a big happy family, and, of course, it's because your cousin is there, your real true life cousin, of course, yeah. is there, that's Brooke. Yeah. There's the two of you there looking beautiful and uber glam. Yeah. And, and, of course, um, she's pregnant now, isn't she, with her second baby, and your yeah. godmother, your godmother to the first one. Yeah, yeah, I am Max's godmother, yeah. She asked me on, um, she bought me a little bracelet and inside it says, Auntie Elle, will you be my godmother? Aww. She gave it me on Christmas Day last, not the Christmas, she's gone the Christmas before. Literally, I couldn't stop crying. I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. 
Oh, that's a lovely thing to happen. But of course, you won't have seen the little one because of this whole lockdown situation. It's very, very difficult yeah. for all of us to yeah, see the I've people that we love. You know, I've hardly seen him and he's grown up so much since the last time that I saw him. But hopefully we'll get over this soon and everything will be back to normal. Exactly. Are you doing lots of Zoom calls to all your pals? Yeah, I've been on FaceTime loads. My boyfriend's like, will you stop FaceTiming me? I think it's, you, you know what, I think that's one way that we're all sort of keeping in touch with one another. That's one thing about the whole sort of technology that we can actually do that, which is wonderful. Yeah. And of course, yeah, you're, you're still able to work as well. I know how COVID safe the set is. They've been incredibly careful, haven't they? Yeah, we're so lucky to be able to still work. And it's so safe. Like, we're literally, you go to a supermarket and people are leaning that's over true. you. And whereas at work, we're not allowed near each other like we have to stay two meters apart at all times and i think that's why it's worked so well no absolutely of course it has and ellie what do you think of fee i mean is fee the kind of girl that you could be friends with what do you think of her um <laughs> i don't know she's very she's very troubled but i think everything that she does she means well yes Yes, I would agree with you. She does. She is troubled, that's that's for sure. Yes, and it's probably going to get worse and worse. Such a joy to talk to you, Ellie. Thank you so much. Um, ten Thank years so and Corey, isn't that incredible? And yeah. of course, Corey continues tomorrow night, half seven and half eight on ITV. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lovely. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.